In another Supreme Court, it heard arguments in the high stakes case about whether Donald Trump can be banned from running for office for his actions surrounding January 6. When I go back to our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. This is the biggest elections case since Bush versus Gore back in 2000. That case left the justices bitterly divided and the court itself damaged. But it's already clear in this Trump case, they don't want to repeat that. A rare moment of agreement. The Supreme Court's liberal and conservative justices voicing shared skepticism about this case. At issue, a Colorado court's decision to ban Donald Trump from the 2024 ballot in that state based on Trump's alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election and his role on January 6th. The Colorado court found Trump violated the 14th Amendment, Section 3, which declares that no one who has taken an oath to support the Constitution and then engaged in insurrection can hold public office afterwards. During three hours of oral arguments, the justices methodically took apart that ruling. Justice Brett Kavanaugh, a Trump appointee. What about the idea that um, we should think about democracy, think about the right of the people to elect uh, candidates of their choice, uh, of letting the people decide? And Justice Elena Kagan, appointed by Barack Obama. I think that the question that you have to confront is why a single state should decide who gets to be president of the United States. Trump appointee Amy Coney Barrett agreeing. It just doesn't seem like a state call. But looming over these arguments, the national trauma of the attack on the Capitol. Even though Trump himself describes that day as beautiful, Justice Ketanji Brown Jackson got Trump's lawyer to acknowledge the reality of what happened. For an insurrection, there needs to be an organized, concerted effort to overthrow the government of the United States through violence. And this and So the point is that a chaotic effort to overthrow the government is not an insurrection? No, we didn't concede that it's an effort to overthrow the government either, Justice Jackson. Right? None of these criteria were met. This was a riot. It was not an insurrection. The events were shameful, criminal, violent, all of those things. But it did not qualify as insurrection, as that term is used in Section 3. But for Donald Trump, this day in court looked like a win. This was a great day. Our Supreme Court hopefully will be doing something in terms of helping our country and preserving democracy. Efforts are underway in more than 30 states to remove Trump from the ballot. So this case will have a major impact. A ruling is expected before the Colorado primary on March 5th. Guys? Okay, Terry, thanks very much.